But when you want to take the picture, you have to stand in a position where you are not too close. So you don't cause problem for the victim, for the people working, and for yourself. Nice to meet you. Immediately you get the camera, before you start shooting, immediately you take up, you take out the lens cap, you check your lens, your lens is okay, you check that you have battery, you have battery, you check that you have the card, you have the card, you open this, before you even turn the camera on, you do that, it's safe. After you do that, the next thing is holding the camera. So you take these three fingers, they go in there, and then put your, you put your thumb under this, you see what I'm saying? The three finger goes in there, this other finger is free under, you see what I'm saying? Now, this one is free. What you now do is you bring this to this side, watch me now, you see it? You see the way I have it? And then you bring, you wrap it around your wrist, and then it goes, when you wrap it around your wrist, it goes in to this place, and then you can put this in your finger. When you grab it like this, it becomes part of you. The camera becomes part of you, right? This other hand is to guide your shooting or your capturing. So when it guides your capturing, you're watching, you can go up, you can come down, you can move like this, you can even use one hand to shoot. So you have freedom. Like this, you have complete freedom, and then you have the freedom to guide this when you want to do shots that are steady, that wants to focus on activities happening over there, like the paramedics giving care to people, like the educators trying to get somebody out of the motorcycle accident. You need to be able to have control.